Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mammel and Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading. This is a timeless collective love reading for all signs and any sign of the person that you're thinking of. This is someone's messages. If you found this reading, there's probably some messages here for you from your person. And we're going to see what they want you to hear today. The person that you're thinking of. Where is this connection headed? What is happening next in this connection? What is it that you need to know from spirit? Welcome back, everybody. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So grateful spirit guided you here. Spirit, please share with me any guided messages. This is a fully channeled message just for those of you that are new to my channel. And welcome back, like I said, to everybody else. Let's see what spirit has. Spirit, I am listening for you now. Someone's messages. What do you need us to hear? What do you need us to hear from our person that we are thinking of right now? What is going on around this connection? I am listening for you now. Taking a risk. Love is strong. A steamy temper. Okay. Does somebody have a steamy temper? Do we fight... Um, somebody, you know, blowing off steam or they get angry very quickly and they walk away from a situation or they just have a tendency to kind of blow their top, um, feeling like I'm being tricked. I don't want to be tricked. I don't want to be manipulated. I don't want to be controlled. Spirit just said, I want to take a risk on this love, changing some things up, mixing things up a little bit maybe spending different time, doing different things together or spending different time together. Love is strong. Let's see what else I'm feeling. Deeply in love, a love potion. Okay. Uh, passion is brewing. I like that. I like that. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that is new. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe subscribe button and just know that you know spirit is um here with you and sending you some messages so welcome everybody i want to go back to this feeling of um i even want to do this you know taking a risk and passion is brewing you know are we ready to literally take a leap of faith are we ready to jump into something is your person ready to jump into something um so that i feel like is the question because it's obvious that there's something going on here there's that that chemistry that's happening there's that syner synergy that's happening around us there it's been happening for a while spirits saying so I don't feel like this is a new connection. I feel like this is somebody that um, I have deep feelings for and I continue to have deep feelings for. So let's start there. Let's start there. I have a King of Wands. He had deep passion for this person. Uh, King of Pentacles, little bit of a feeling of putting somebody up on a pedestal at 10, 10 on the clock when I'm recording this, we'll grab that. I have a chariot coming in. And I have a lover's card. Thank you, spirit. So this is a definitely a connection where I am deeply in love with this person. And I want to make sure that this is the person that I'm supposed to be with. That's how it's kind of coming into me. Like the questions that you ask yourself, like, am I going to end up with this person? Am I going to stay with this person? They are sharing with me. This is a lover's card. This is a chariot. So I do feel like I have every indication that I want to move forward in this connection. I also like these kind of hold my hand, you know, take my hand, um, continue this journey with me. And I also I also like that that feeling. Um, it, it, it did just come into me as there's some confusion around this connection. Um, even with all this passion, even with all this love, there's something going on that that is, um, I guess, confusing this connection. So let me go a little bit deeper on that spirit. What do you mean by confusion? What is upsetting to this connection? I have a five of cups. This person may disappoint you at different times. That anger that I had, there could be a sense of you scare me or when you raise your voice or um, you get very upset and then you walk away and I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know what you're feeling. So there's a sense that there's times that I'm disappointed 
there's times where I fall in love with you over and over again. And, and it's hard because I don't want to go from these emotional waves. I don't want to be in these, um, you know, this kind of hesitant and then I'm all in and then I pull back um, energy. So there's a little bit of guarding myself because I don't know what is going to happen next. I want to, I want to focus on the feelings, the new feelings, the good feelings. I, I want to be safe. Like that page looks safe to me. That, that page looks secure to me. It, it's a feeling of, I like being with you, but there's times that you disappoint me. And there could be only times that they disappoint you, you know, when they're doing certain behaviors, they're drinking too much or they're partying with their friends or they're staying out later than they should and you, you're worried about them, you know, something along those lines, like, is it a certain behavior that upsets you? Like, when you drink too much, you say things that you wouldn't normally say to me, um, you know, something along those lines, like, it's just upsetting. I have a judgment, I want to know, is this meant to be forever? And there's a feeling of, I haven't made up my mind, because unless some of these behaviors change, I've got to know there's a choice. I've got to know that, you know, you're in it for the long run and that these things are going to improve and these things are going to get better or something like that. So you've got some concerns in this connection with how this person is um, behaving. I'm going to say it that way that, you know, not every relationship is perfect. I know that, but Maybe there's some real concerns. Maybe Spirit just said some money issues, some anger issues, some um, things that uh, insecurity issues, you know, something like that going on. Let's see. I wish I could take it all back. Do they say things that they wish that then they resent, they um, regret? OK, I wish I could take it all back. I said some things I didn't mean to say. Um, I had too much to drink. And then I said some things, you know, something along those lines I feel like is happening. I wish you could tell me what to do to make things right, but I probably wouldn't do it anyway. So you may tell them over and over again, these things don't make me happy or I'm upset at these things. Or when you say these things, it scares me or it upsets me um, and you back off. And then they say, well, why are you pulling away? And you just can't, you're just so tired of the same conversation over and over again, something like that. Um, I'm afraid of the love I have for you and it consumes me. So there's tremendous fear of losing you. I don't want to lose you. Um, I, you know, take my hand. I don't want to lose you. Um, but what, what's going to change spirit? I guess we need to get to some of those things. I need time to get over what happened, whatever happened. If you guys have had an episode recently, your side, their side, um, I wish I could take it all back. I wish things would be easier. You might be in a temporary separation or you might be um, just kind of not in a good place right now with this person, um, even though that you feel like the passion is, is amazing. And this is the person that when it's good, it's good. Um, I don't know if I can do this. So there's got to be some changes. That could be you. That could be them. Like, I don't know if I can keep doing this. I don't know if it's a repeat pattern, if it's a behavior that I just can't stop them from doing. This entire situation drives me insane. So it, is somebody intruding in this connection? And then I want you back. And I also feel like I want you back the way that we were. Okay. Either something has happened, some kind of episode um, has happened in this connection, but I, I want you back the way we were. I want you back um, when the passion was was exciting and we were happy, ha happy together. Thank you for being so patient and understanding. So I feel like this person almost has like these outbursts. I'm going to say it that way, that they're kind of episodes that happen and and then there's this kind of backpedaling of apologies and i'm sorry i lost my temper i'm sorry that i got angry um but i guess it's getting old i guess i'm tired of the apologies and i'm tired of the behavior so let's see what else they're saying could be a twin flame connection because of the the sense of the passion and then the pulling back and then the passion. So I'm, I'm going to go with the twin flame energy. 
Um, I'm beginning to focus on my mission and our connection is part of that. You know, I'm trying to figure us out. I'm trying to figure out where are we headed from here? What's happening next? This situation is being caused by both of us. Look at your own role in this situation to help us change it. So it's not ever one person. You know, if these episodes keep happening, what's triggering them? What's causing the anger? Is it jealousy? Is it insecurity? Is it trust issues? Like what, what specifically? Is it money issues? Uh, what is what specifically are the every time we have a fight, it's about the same kinds of things. So what is it that we're doing? I need to move slowly with this, but trust that I am moving even when it seems that I am not. So I do feel like this connection wants to continue to move forward. I'm not. In fact, there's a fear of losing you. There's a fear of don't you know, don't go away. Um, I want to keep moving forward, but they're trying to get their arms around like the why uh, they're behaving a certain way and what's triggering them and seeing if it's a pattern. I feel like I don't deserve your love. I'm worried you'll leave me when you see who I really am. So it's a, it's a feeling of you see a little bit of Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde energy that you see a side of them that nobody else sees. And then you also see this this beautiful, kind, loving, passionate, loving person. And that's the person that you're in love with, okay? Um, that's the person that, you know, you're saying, um, I, I do want to keep moving forward with you. I do want to continue on this path with you. Um, but I, I also can't handle, you know, the other side of you. And, and, and an apology isn't an enough anymore. It's almost like, you can't just like react, take it out on me, so to speak, and then, um, you know, expect that an apology just fixes everything. So we've got to figure out like why this person is reacting so severely in certain situations. I'm trying to figure out this connection. I've never experienced anything like it before. So um, you know, I wrap my arms around you and I feel it feels right. I, 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 you hold me in my arms and it just feels right. Um, I don't know why I act the way I do around you. I'm, I've never have been triggered by anybody the way that you trigger me. And I got to tell you, there's certain people, certain tw twin flames that for whatever reason that you guys have a very difficult time with, it's, it's like, loving hard and hating hard. You know, it's just this um, intense energy on both sides. And, and it's really sometimes very, very difficult. Um, so that's how it's coming into me right now. Like I said, a little bit of a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, and what's going to change, you know, like what, what is going to change? Words have hurt me in the past. And that's why I fear talking to you. I, I'm afraid that you know, there's certain times that you're going to say something that is going to upset me. And I then I can't forget what you said. Even when you say you're sorry, um, I hold those words to my heart. They, I take them with me. I carry them with me. I don't let them go. I can't fully be there for you as long as this other person is in my life. I know it's hard for you, but I have to go through this experience in order to heal it. If there's anybody interfering with this connection or there's thoughts of somebody interfering, some jealousy um, or some unfinished you know, relationship of some kind, that could be definitely trigger triggering this connection on either side. So obviously that would be the first thing that needs to end. Um, please send me energetic support. Use the frequency of love to uplift me because I need your help. I need you to be there for me when um, I need you. Okay. I need you to, um, I guess, be more consistent and, and focus more on the love that we share and focus more on um, when it's good, it's good. And that, that's what that's what we're trying to hold on to is when it's good, it's good. But when these episodes happen and they're kind of a repeat episode, I see another side of you that I don't like. And that's the part that's, you know, makes me worried. Is this going to be somebody that I can be with for the long run unless they change spirit? Are there going to be some changes in this connection? Are we going to learn to grow? Um, are we going to figure this connection out, figure each other out? What's going on? 
I have a four of pentacles. Somebody's holding back because I'm afraid to be all in. I have a ten of swords. I'm afraid that this is going to end. So there's a fear of, of losing this connection also um, because of these kind of repeat patterns. A knight of pentacles and a seven of pentacles. So that came into me as I'm going to try harder. I do feel like you hear a lot of the same kind of um, sorries and apologies and I'm, I'm going to, you know, try harder, be better, work harder. And you just keep giving this person a lot of chances. So they've had a lot of chances to improve spirit. Is it going to get better? Is it going to get better? I have a king of wands. The passion is there. You love this person. Ten of cups, happy contentment. You can be really happy. Look at the sun. Okay, so we can be really happy together. Maybe we have to really identify what this trigger is, whether it's insecurity, their ego gets the better of them, their um, stubbornness, um, you know, but what is this, this kind of two-sided person? Like you're the only one who's seeing, um, you're seeing the good and the bad, right? You're seeing the the positives and the negatives and, and everybody has good and bad and ugly and messy. Um, but right now I want to focus on, you know, the person who's coming into your life that that's passionate about you and loves you and, and completes you and makes you feel good. And it is a feeling of, you know what, if we have to have a clean slate and we have to do a do over and start over somehow, or, or just have some kind of truce in a situation, and then maybe that's what we have to do. Um, but I, I don't want to let go of when it's good, it's good. But when it's bad, it's ugly. You know, it's, it's, that's the part, you know, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, like what's going on? Spirit, please share with me. What do we got? Um, I can't stand leaving you. Like I just, the thought of leaving you would be devastating. Okay. So um, whether that's you or them or both of you, like I'm not ready to walk away from this. I feel powerful when I'm with you. Okay. I feel like we're supposed to be together. I feel the passion, right? I feel the passion. I want to be with you. My love is unconditional. I love you no matter what. You know, there are those people that you fight intensely with and but you never stop loving them. You never stop loving them. You you love them even in very difficult situations. So um, that's the kind of love that really is a very deep uh, soul contract love. But it doesn't mean that you should be treated unfairly and it doesn't mean that you should not be treated with respect either. So that could be going on. Um, it's hard for me to tell you how I feel. I need to open up to you and I need to share with you, like when I say these things or do these things, like what the heck is going through my head? Why am I doing these things? Why do I feel this way? And expressing your deepest emotions. I need to express my deepest emotions. Absolutely. Your energy is unbalanced. I think that that's really what's going on. It, it's a feeling of, you know, when you're you're either really, really good to me or you have these times where you're not so good to me. And that's, you know, it's not acceptable at some point. It's not acceptable. It has to be more consistent. This divine love thing is new to me. <laughs> I like that. You're, this divine love thing is new to me and I'm scared. You know, does just, just, just being... Um, in fear, trigger them? Does just being um, in fear of losing this or losing you trigger them into this, you know, kind of behavior that, that they just say things that they shouldn't? Um, and then they're kind of repairing the damage. Is it because I feel insecure? I feel insecure in this love. I feel like you could be with anybody. You, anybody would want to be with you. I see how other people look at you. I see that other people are attracted to you. So this person could have like a real jealous streak or they could be very envious of, you know, that you, you have the ability to like up and leave and start your life over with no problem. And they would have a very difficult time. So this insecurity, I'm secretly in love with you. And They've got to be able to share that, you know, feeling insecure, but I'm secretly in love with you. 
Um, I don't want to lose you. Uh, I, I don't tell you often enough. I'm in love with you. You know, that could be going on. Um, so right now I want it to be more balanced. You're always on my mind. You know, I'm feeling insecure. This divine love thing is new to me and I'm scared, but you're always on my mind. So you've got somebody who is a little overwhelmed with, um, I guess, this type of connection, this intensity. Maybe they've never loved this deeply or fought this hard. You know, like I said, there's this sense of, we um, have this love-hate relationship sometimes. And it's like there's a side of your person that, you know, you absolutely love and adore and want to be with. And then there's another side of this person that you say, I, I can't stand this person. You know, like I can't stand when you say, talk this way or act this way or when you drink too much or, you know, when you're with your friends or whatever it is that that's triggering the, the um, situation that changes things between the two of you. Okay. Cause it does change things. And that's, that's what needs to be addressed. Um, I'm healing myself to love you better. I love that. All right. So if they're willing to work, if they're willing to work on themselves, I'm trying to fix things. I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm, I'm sorry I hurt you. Take my hand. I don't want to lose you. Okay. I'm feeling insecure. I'm secretly in love with you. You know, this feeling of I'm sorry I hurt you. So they're obviously um, in tune to um, the things that they say and their actions do hurt you. So this has been going on. This has been something that um, is a struggle. So we've got to get to a place where the sorries mean something, that the apologies mean something. And that it's not just they can do whatever and say whatever they want and you always forgive them no matter what. Like that's not going to work in the long run because spirit was saying, you know, the passion is here. The passion is here. Love yourself unconditionally. You're going to love yourself first. You're going to let somebody walk all over you. So that's always the truth. And you always have a choice. And I'm thinking of you right now. So Again, you could be in a temporary separation from this person, or you could just be feeling distant, or you could have just had some kind of episode recently, and you're like, you know, what the heck is going on? It's just another thing. Um, I only want to be with you, so that's good. That tells me that they only want to be with you, that third-party situation. I'm working on my finances. I need money issues to be better, and let's get one more. And you are so sweet to me. So I have no doubt in my mind this person's in love with you. They're either having a hard time controlling their, um, their words, their actions, okay, their anger, okay, resentments from their past, situations, stress. But they do need to keep trying. And they do need to let you know that you deserve better and that together we can find a solution to this. Um, I think that that's important. I think that we have to keep talking about it, but I am feeling that there's a lot of passion here. This feeling of take my hand and I don't want to lose you. Um, but I also felt that incredible Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Um, and which one are you? Which one are you? And that's what we're really trying to identify in this connection. So you are going to get the answers that you're seeking from spirit. Spirit just said they will show you the truth. So keep talking to spirit, keep talking to your person and the truth and the situation will be revealed. I want to thank spirit for these messages today. Thank you for um, being here. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Please um, comment below. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. I always appreciate that. And if anyone would like to book a private reading with me, I'll put my website, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.